the GoPro, like every year, released the new heroes. We have Hero 11, and soon, in the October, we're gonna have the Hero 11 Mini. And I'm not as hyped as you might imagine. I am actually kind of hyped about the newly announced uh, small version of the Hero 11. If the announcement is correct and the technical data and pseudo specification for this camera is correct, it will offer basically the same uh, capabilities as the full-size Hero 11. So 4K, 60 FPS, maybe even more, yes, everything great, image quality, fantastic, outstanding, but with less LCDs front and right, and in much smaller form factor. Hero cameras got chunky. So this is the Hero 11, and Hero 11 looks just exactly from the outside like the Hero 10. So we have the color LCD in the front, color LCD in the back, and uh, so far, the biggest difference that uh, really like hits the new GoPro and I really do hope that they fix the overheating problems during charging because my Hero 10 always have problems with overheating during charging and I have to like pull the battery during charging and then plug it in so the camera kind of wakes up. Uh, that they added the 10-bit chroma sampling. If you don't know what 10-bit chroma sampling is, then the short, long story short, 10-bit chroma sampling is something that makes your colors look better. However, with the usage in the RC and FPV, it doesn't really matter because the 8-bit chroma sampling that we have right now is most probably absolutely enough for everyone flying drones, just for flying drones, but the 10-bit chroma sampling is extremely useful for the cinemat cinematography professionals when they do want to have the extra chroma sampling, so they can just make the color grading slightly look, just look better. But let's be honest, we in the RC FPV world, we don't really do the uh, very advanced color grading so for us it's not really that much important by the way do me a favor hit the like button and write in the comments what you think about the new gopro cameras are they something interesting for the rc and the fpv hobby thanks it means a lot and it helps to grow the channel i'm for example skipping the hero 11 i'm not buying the hero 11 uh i'm staying with the hero 10 for now i might even buy the second hero 10 because my nose already is slightly beat up and the prices should go down when we have a new flagship then the prices of the previous flagship should of course go down so I will most probably get myself a second Hero 10 from my perspective although the 10 big chroma sampling is definitely an improvement I, for example, will not even be able to use the 10-bit chroma sampling because none of the video editing software I use can work on the free version I'm using <laughs> with the 10-bit chroma sum. I'm skipping the Hero 11 because the Hero 10 for my FPV usage and recording videos for the YouTube is all that I need. Absolutely. This thing, however, has some really nice potential for the RC and the FPV. It's not exactly the same thing as the Go procession that we loved so much, but this thing the Hero 11 Mini might really make a lot of sense when used on the drones because it's finally lighter, doesn't have the LCD that cracks all the time, so one problem less for you, and it's of course lighter, handier and easier to use. Yes, it's still chunky comparing to the cameras like Cadix Peanut or Insta360 Go 2 or however, whichever there we're gonna use. But comparing to full-size GoPros, it's much, 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 much smaller and much lighter. This is like, yeah, probably slightly bigger than the uh, session we had uh, before. And we definitely do not need those dual mounting fingers. So I hope, I really do hope it will be possible to get rid of some of those. And look, this thing even appears to have some, some kind of the heat sink in the back. And do not overheat us in the process, of course. Uh, but if we put this thing in the nice TPU sleeve, we should really get a pretty, pretty, pretty nice flying package. 
one button, small uh, LCD on the top. We do not really need much more. It will be 300 bucks. <laughs> Pricey, all, only slightly less pricey than the full-size GoPro, but uh, smaller and that actually might be something interesting. Bottom line, Hero 11, nice progress, nice step forward in the cinematography game. However, it's not really a step we are, we should be interested as the FPV pilots, because for us, it probably doesn't really matter, and it's not really worth upgrading right away. On the other hand, the upcoming Hero 11 Mini looks like an interesting FPV and RC camera. And I might, I might buy this thing even during the and during the premiere of the Hero Mini. Because GoPro will, of course, not send me anything because I'm too small of the channel, but I might, I'm tempted. I'm really, really, really tempted to try the Hero 11 Mini. If you would like to set up your GoPro camera the best way possible for the FPV usage, here's the video for you. In the meantime, I'm Paweł Spechalski. Thank you very much for watching and like always, happy flying!